school na. Kaya naman, we have a very special program ngayong hapon na ito. Kasama natin si Carolina San Juan. Siya po ay isang first-generation college student who went on to receive her PhD in culture and performance at UCLA. She specializes in the K-12 pipeline to college. Today, we are talking to her about our children going back to school and how we as parents can support them on their academic journey. Carolina, Professora, thank you so much for coming back of here. Of course, I love seeing you. Thank you. So we have a lot to talk about. Yes. And let's talk about, you know, as Filipino Americans, uh, mm -hmm. we always get this confused, right. okay? First gen, second gen. Can mm -hmm. we spell it out? to kababayans kasi yes. marami akong nakikilalang mga kabataan that they call themselves first generation and when I ask them, oh, so you were born in the Philippines, where? Right. They're like, no, I was born here. I'm first generation right. from America. Right. And and I don't want to correct them. Sure. But can we correct them? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will correct them since I am the teacher. Yes, you are and the professor. You, yes, and you will engage them. Yes, because it's, it is confusing. It is confusing. So in academics, what we, uh, the way we differentiate is that those who uh, were born in a different country and immigrated to the U.S. are first generation because they are Americans. So it, I'm second generation because I was born of immigrants, right? So, but if I say I'm first, does that mean my parents are zero? Because mm. they're still Americans, right? Right. They live and work in America. They buy property. They raise their families in America. So they're just as American as you or I are, but they're the first generation of Americans to the U.S. Okay. So when you say first generation college yeah. student, which you are, yes. What does that really mean? It's the first person in your family to go to college. Ah, I see. Right. So because I'm a child of immigrants. I'm a second-generation Filipino-American, but a first-generation college student. Interesting. Yes. Okay, thank you for spelling that out for me. <laughs> sure, sure, <laughs> sure. I, uh, it's, it's very important that we understand the terminology right. um, because, you know, I was born uh, not even in the Philippines, right? right? But I migrated here, mm -hmm. so that makes me... Kind of 1.5. 1.5. Okay, right. and the one, the the point five is when you come at an early age. It's when you do some of your elementary schooling in your or country of origin. Okay. So you're 1.5 because it. your development, your identity, your cultural identity is two places. Yes. So you're 1.5. Got it. Got which it. Is why you do Kababayan today? That's right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, because it's an understanding of. Both cultures, right? right? Okay. Right. So now that school has started for a lot of our children, yes. we have a lot of Filipino Americans that have, you know, children that are growing up in America yeah. that are very American. Yes, they are. Um, and that's okay. Like our children. Yes. Our yes. children are very American. Right. My daughter is third generation. Yes. My daughter is second generation. Right. 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 Um, how can we understand and give them the tools to succeed in academics, right. being that we don't necessarily have the template to do right. so because the way we grew up was a very traditional right. sort of parenting with our first generation parents. Right, and it's very, uh, it's based on a hierarchy. Mm. Like someone is in charge, it's called a deficit model, where the teacher has something and the student doesn't have something. And I guess the, the way you would visualize it is somehow I would open your little head and pour in this information and now you're a better person. And that's a very old model, right? And so, and what it does is it lessens our, stu our children's confidence in what they know mm. and what they experience. And a real education is to know yourself and how you fit in the world. And that's what we should really be giving our children. Okay. How do how, we give that right, to our how. children, well, right? You know, as a, I made a list. Okay. I made a list. And, you know, I think a lot of the traditional advice is uh, arrive early. Yes. Makinig sa teacher. Yes. Wag sasagot. Yes. Diba? All these things that, as a Filipino, you're told again and again. Right. Study hard. Right. Get good grades. Don't right. answer back. Right, and all those things make our, our children very obedient and creates an atmosphere where they don't feel like they can think for themselves, which is an American value. 
right? The American value is to be an individual, to assert oneself, to think on your own. Mm -hmm. And you see how these conflict. Absolutely. And our children get mixed messages and they get very frustrated. Yes, because let's face it, as a Filipino, you're told to keep your head down, work hard, don't complain. It's a very Asian thing. Yes. Right? Okay, here on Kababayan today, we are talking about how we can prepare our children uh, to be the best that they can be as an individual here in America, despite, you know, the Filipino culture and values that we have. Magbabalik kami, kasama natin si Profesora Carolina San Juan.